Hi everybody, it's Amy from Crafty Cat and um, I am here to show you my design team project for Medieval Mirage. Um, this is Sweet Serenity and this is my March um, design team project for Medieval Mirage. I've used Sweet Serenity and Sweet Serenity add-on and that's the only two um, of those kits that there are. There aren't a whole bunch of different add-ons or anything so um, that's an easy one to find and I will uh, link it in my description box below this video um, if you're interested in these designs by Jeff. Alright, so uh, let's measure. She is six and a half wide by eight and a half long and the spine is one and three quarters, so almost two. I've put sari silk. This is a really fine sari silk. It was a gift to me from um, Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts, um, but it's a really soft, nice uh, sari silk. And it does have the seam right here where they stitch two pieces together. That's just kind of the way they do it. So um, I didn't have a length that was long enough to go around twice. So anyway, um, I've added a cluster down here that was also from Denise at Medieval Mirage. I did add a couple of uh, pieces of the the doily or whatever, the crochet um, here. And I also added a little pin, bulb pin with a purple button and a little key there. And the outside of this is all done. Um, I've stitched all of it. It's, it's sewn on the machine. I don't... Um, do a whole lot of hand stitching so I don't do a whole lot of stitching period but um, this was the first time I tried something like this and so I just kinda would put a piece on and stitch it down put another piece on stitch it down so it was kind of a process but I think it turned out kinda cool I like it a lot so I have like crocheted doily this is more like um, an embroidery I'm not even sure what they call it it's like these kinda doilies and then this one has a little bit more of a satiny feel to it all along here. This is an old hanky with the purple on it under there. And then this is another crocheted piece. This is some lace. I believe I got that from Hobby Lobby. And then this is another little corner of a different kind of lace there. So it's just really all layered up. And then this image is um, from Sweet Serenity and I stitched it to the cover so it's stitched on there it's not uh, just sewn around and then glued down it's stitched on so then there's just different lace all around here so when we go inside I have another piece of that really pretty um, cotton fabric that my sister made the heart and I meant to bring the heart up again it's in my room and I just keep forgetting to bring it upstairs but um, anyway I will try to remember to do that next time. Um, so I made a pocket out of that. It's just really soft, nice fabric. And I put a journaling card in here that this is from um, Rachel at Roxy Creations. So this is a different one. It says this journal belongs to. And this is all in the Sweet Serenity kit. And she's done things like this journal belongs to and the story begins. and. Um, there's lots of different words in that kit. Um, the kits are just quite large and there's always tons of stuff to play with. I never get to play with all of it in one journal. So <clears throat> I often use other pieces in other journals and, <laughs> you know, because they are quite large. Oh, and this is Rachel at Roxy Creations, the butterfly and the doily as well. All right, and so I've covered it with a, this is just a purple, um, a scrapbook paper so this is not like a digi or anything it's just a scrapbook paper that I had in my stash and then this is Medieval Mirage Sweet Serenity it's a beautiful image and then this is um, one of my laces it's in the Winter Wonder digi and then this is um, Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts her um, Spring Blooms, Blooms Friendship sorry I'm having trouble talking today <laughs> what my deal is but anyway this is the same day as I did the last videos it's just later in the afternoon so maybe that's my problem <laughs> but anyway that's another beautiful kit and I'll put a link to that below as well and um, this is that little pocket that I made from a piece that I got um, or a die that I got from um, in love arts shop um, I just punch it out and then I put a slit in it so that you can add 
you know, little tags, and then I put a few little things on the front. And music paper, and this is Medieval Mirage. Uh, this one, I think, is Illuminated Flora Volume 1, but not positive. That's the tricky part with Medieval Mirage. This is Medieval Mirage, and this one is um, Medieval Missives. And I think that's Volume 6 on that one. And then we did this together on video, and this was from some collage paper that I did. I cut it and um, did two pockets on the one page here, and then a couple of tags that are all backed with that manila drawing paper. It's great doing those. Um, like, do the collage pages first, a couple of them, and then you can just cut them up for all different things for journals. It's really, it makes it much quicker. Um, this is that construction paper, the purple construction paper. I coffee dyed it. Uh, so that's, you know, all, all coffee dyed. And then there's a little uh, charm on here. This is one of the ones that I got from my niece for Christmas. Thank you, Bailey. So that's very cool. And then this is Medieval Mirage Sweet Serenity with all the roses. And this is Rachel at Roxy Creations, her coffee dyed paper. This is Kool-Aid dyed paper that I did last year sometime. I remembered I had it, so I quick put some in here. Uh, Medieval Mirage, and that's Roxy Creations. And then this is, um, I found this opera book. It's just got like the name of the opera, and then it just tells you a little bit about it. And I tried to keep as much of it as I could. I didn't want to lose that. But um, And then the next page will have um, another opera, and it'll tell a little bit about that opera. So that was kind of a fun find. I got that at an antique store. Um, this is Denise at Wonderbar Crafts. Her Spring Blooms Friendship and some Manila drawing paper, kids Manila drawing paper, and I get that on Amazon. And that's just a little fabric cluster up there that I made out of different fabrics and things. And this is um, Medieval Mirage. It's Rachel at Roxy Creations. This is also Medieval Mirage. This one is in the Illuminated Flora, and that I believe Volume One. Oh, his little antennae is loose, so we're going to fix it because I don't want to forget and then have it get torn off or something. Crazy little butterfly. It's always a lot easier when they're off the paper than on the paper. <laughs> so that's that little pocket that we made. Uh, Jamie sent me the... Rolodex card that she spritzed all over. I did a little collage and a butterfly from Rachel Roxy Creations. This I had, I believe it was Kay and Company, but seriously, it's probably 20 years old. So, and I just stuck that in there. And then this is that little booklet that I showed you that has Kool-Aid dyed paper and some of the paper from um, Medieval Mirage, Sweet Serenity, in the front and back. So just a little book to write in. It's kind of fun. Don't want to get the iris caught on there. Oh, come on, Iris. Uh, it just really wants to go with the little book. <laughs> this is some tea dyed paper. Uh, this is Medieval Mirage here. Isn't that gorgeous? That frame around there. Just beautiful. Uh, Roxy Creations, that's the middle of Signature. And then Medieval Mirage, tea dye. Medieval Mirage, Roxy Creations, Medieval Mirage. And then this is that little um, envelope that we did together, the concertina one. And um, this has this journaling card in there. And then it opens like this. And there's a little tag here and a little pocket. And then it goes this way. And there's another little tuck spot out of one of Rachel Roxy Creation's doilies and one of her butterflies. And that's uh, one of the purple ladies that's in my digi purple. I just did a, a bunch of them. And you can change the size of them. You can make them bigger or smaller, just depending on what you, you want to do. But And then there's a writing spot right there. So that's that. So let's put this back in here. I'm not, I won't tie it right now. I'll just move on. Oops. <laughs> and then we have... Um, one of our crafts and the um, opera book. 
So there's two operas there. And this is Rachel Roxy Creations. Medieval Mirage. Kool-Aid dyed paper. So this is a little fabric or lace flip, really, because it's all different laces on there. And it's stitched up at the top, stitched onto the paper. And then there's the lace down the side. And the coffee dyed construction paper again. And Medieval Mirage. This one as well. And then I did this pocket today, so um, it's one you haven't seen. I like to use frames to write in, so you can write a little something there. And then this is one of the the ladies. I didn't put this one in the purple digi because she's not wearing purple, but it's just another color of one of those. Um, this is an image. I think I got that um, Biodiversity Heritage Library. This is Rachel Roxy Creations, both of those. And then um, I got this idea from um, Carol Laws, and I called her Carol Law last time. I apologize, Carol. It's Carol Laws with an S on the end. Um, not necessarily this front part. This is Medieval Mirage, and that's one of my purple ladies and some lace and some washi. But she puts, you know, folds some paper to have extra writing space on the back of, like, journaling cards or tags or whatever, which I thought was a great idea. I love that, Carol. Thank you so much. I saw that in your... The last two journals you did and I just thought that's genius because then you get a little more writing space there so very nice so check Carol out she does gorgeous journals and that's Denise one of our crafts who also does beautiful journals <laughs> um, this is from my digi winter wonder and then that's the end of that signature and the beginning of the next so this is from my uh, antique posy digi and this is Denise at one of our crafts. And um, Medieval Mirage. That one's her Medieval Missives. I think that's... I don't remember. Let me see if I can see it on here. Sorry, I've got my computer open for this specific reason because it's really hard to remember. Um, it's part three of Medieval Missives is where that one comes from. And then that's um, Medieval Mirage there. And on the back of this one is where we put the little notepad and then and one of the purple ladies and a tag in that pocket that's just kind of askew a little there and that was um was that on collage paper i think that was collage paper and then i can never remember if we collaged the pocket like that or it was a huge piece and then this is construction paper again and i added one of these little this was actually gifted to me and I can't remember who gifted it to me. If you did, please comment below. Uh, it's hard sometimes to remember. It's been it's been quite a, a long time since I got that one. I was kind of hoarding it because I love purple, so that was kind of a cool one. And then these are um, the tickets that we did, the ticket pocket. And in the ticket pocket is the little uh, coin envelope that Jamie sent me that she collaged the napkin on. I just added a flower and some lace. And so it says lavender on there. And then, oh, please don't tell me you're stuck. I just did this one right before I came on here, so of course it has to be stuck, right? So I thought she was dry, but obviously not. It's just a little journaling card to slip inside of there. And then this is another journaling card. We did this one earlier today. Sorry, I'm all mixed up because... Um, you know, I'm doing the same day kind of thing. I have to run errands tomorrow. So I'm going to stitch around this one. I forgot to do that, Eva, so I will definitely get that stitched. I'm actually going to set it on my sewing machine, and then I'll put it back in there later. And that's Medieval Mirage and Medieval Mirage. And then this is Rachel at Roxy Creations, her new, um, like, Easter labels. I'm not, I don't remember what they call, they're called, but if you go to her shop, you'll see those like that. And then just a little fabric cluster there. And the opera paper. And then this is another page I don't, I didn't do with you guys. I kind of got this idea from Carol Laws as well. She had a corner park pocket and then one of those side tucks that just takes up like this much room. I just thought that was a really cool idea, so I, I just did a bigger pocket. I just did mine different, but it's the same idea. And then this is another journaling card, and again, I my wedding ring's stuck in the fabric. Um, <laughs> 
I took that same idea again from Carol and added a little extra flap, you know, just folded it over instead of cutting it off so that there's a little more journaling space. And that just tucks in there. And then there's the journaling card that goes with it and it's backed with some of that purple construction paper. It just tucks down in there. And that's Medieval Mirage, Medieval Missives, Part 6, the purple background back here. All right, and then this is Denise at Wonderbar Crafts, Spring Blooms Friendship. Sorry, I left all my fabric mess. And um, Manila Paper, Medieval Mirage, Sweet Serenity, beautiful images. Rachel at Roxy Creations, Doily. And there's vanilla paper. And then I just did this, finished this one today. It's just one of those, I don't know if you'd call it a Rachel Roxy Creations or who, where it came from. But anyway, it's just a book page. You know, you have the whole book page and you just fold part of it to there. And then you have, so there's a pocket back here and there's a pocket here. So I just put both of these in here. But um, Eva, you can tuck something back behind there, whatever you like. And this is fold it over <laughs> and then we have uh, Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts uh, music paper Kool-Aid dye paper and then um, Jamie I used that napkin that you sent the one with the hydrangeas all over it and I covered the whole envelope it was one of those business envelopes with the stuff on it so I covered it first with that manila paper so it made it really kind of dark which was weird but um, it still looks kind of cool there's one of the butterflies in there but <clears throat> I added just some a little piece of the collage paper and then lace and an antique button <laughs> my sister's crochet thank you Megan and some lace and then there's two tags in there right on and the cool part is you can see those right through that business envelope window there and then this is medieval mirage the opera paper medieval mirage this nice journaling there's lots of journaling space I always try to leave lots of journaling space because again that's the point of a journal <clears throat> and then there's a little top tuck and a journaling card there And then this is, I believe this is uh, Denise at Wonderbar Crafts. That's her coffee dyed or tea dyed paper. And Medieval Mirage. Uh, Denise at Wonderbar Crafts. That's my antique posy. And that's the end of the second signature and the third signature. Each signature has 16 pieces of paper folded in half, so however many pages. And uh, that's Medieval Mirage. That's um, Illuminated Flora Volume 1. And then Music Paper and Medieval Mirage. And this is Medieval Mirage as well. And then it's a nice coffee dyed purple paper. And then there's a little another little charm that my niece um, made me for Christmas, but I broke the little loop that it was on. <laughs> So I put all the beads onto a bulb pin, but it works, still works great for that. <clears throat> and then this is our guest check that we did together with the card. And then uh, it's belly band and then the circle piece tucks right in there. Some opera paper. And Denise at Wonderbar Crafts. And Rachel and Medieval Mirage. I just love that image. <clears throat> and then I did another one of the kind of pocket tuck things. This was a big tag that I had from some uh, collage paper. I just add, stitched a little lace down there and then added another pocket here out of that collage paper and added a butterfly to it. This opens like the whole top, so it's just more of a tuck than a necessarily a pocket. I mean, it works like a pocket because of the way it's on here but then this is one of <clears throat> um, Joff's envelopes that come with the Sweet Serenity 
Digi, and that's a piece of stationery that comes also in that. It comes that size so that, you know, you can put it in the envelope or something like that. And then she also gives you those circles so you can, you know, have a closure for your envelope. Just goes in there. And a little fabric tuck, and that's an antique button there. And that's uh, Rachel Roxy Creations. And Medieval Mirage, the frame. Kool Aid dyed paper. Denise at one of our crafts. Manila. This is Medieval Mirage. That's the Sweet Serenity kit. And Denise. And this is Rachel at Roxy Creations. And some opera paper. And Rachel and Medieval Mirage. <laughs> and I stole this idea from Carol Laws too. I um, thought it was super cool, but not my idea. But she just puts all different like strips of paper, you know, that you might have in your scraps or whatever. So great use of scraps. And then you can just either tear them off if you want to use them some more or just write on them on there. It gives you more journaling space and you can still journal under there as well. So some coffee dyed paper and Medieval Mirage. And this was one that we did together. The little letter and the little pocket that I got from, I think this one was BB Craft, this pocket. And a big pocket with two tags. In there. Just lost that one back there. I think that one needs to go on the front. Alright. And then we've got Medieval Mirage music paper. Medieval Mirage. And the end of the signature there. And there's a piece of fuzz. Multiple pieces of fuzz <laughs> that get caught. Alright, and then um, back here is one of those like nameplate type things that Joff has also in the Sweet Serenity um, kit. It says handmade by and then I signed it and I added uh, one of these little tatting squares that I had and I stitched some lace on it. And um, we made these journaling cards this morning. Or this one's actually an envelope. And I finished the little card to go inside. So that is her. That is Sweet Serenity, my March design team project for Medieval Mirage. Love the papers. They're beautiful. And that's it. That's her, the big the big girl. She's not too gator mouth, but I mean, you know, that's a lot of pages and a lot of goodies in there. So she's kind of a fatty. And I'm gonna set it over here so we don't have to wind it all back up again. And I'll move this out of the way. And I just thought we could um make a little make a little bag type journal thing. I don't know how far we'll get. How long have we been? 23. So we'll just work on this um, bag for a bit. And I have a bunch of papers that I thought I wanted to use. This is going to be a thank you for um, my friend Cindy who got me those cards. I asked her how much I owed her for the cards and she just said make me something. So I'm going to make her something. So, anyways, I thought that would be fun. And then um, I kind of have an idea. I don't have the image that I'm going to use on the front of here right now with me, but I kind of have an idea of what image I want to use. So I'm just kind of going with the blues and that because they're in the, the image that I want to use. So we'll just kind of play around with this. So this is one of the bags that Jamie sent me. Um, Super nice, they're that kind of glassine feeling. And this was one that she used, but I figured since we're going to cover a lot of it, it's it's not going to make any difference. Oh, the one thing we do need to do first is glue down these sides. I just don't, I don't want it a big, huge, open, flapping kind of thing. I just want it to, you know, be more like a journal. So you're just <clears throat> gluing these sides entirely right here, these big gussets, they're gussets. So we're going to glue those closed. 
And I was watching somebody last night do this, and I cannot remember her name right now. I, I don't, she's kind of new to me, so I'll try to remember to link her channel below because she was making little, like, journal things. This one's different, but this is where I got the idea from, so I'll make sure I link her video as well. Sometimes I, I get watching stuff that, you know, just because it comes on my feed or something that I don't normally watch. But I liked these little journals were cute. Couldn't sleep again last night. Ugh, it's driving me nutty. I don't know what my deal is. Sleep one night, don't sleep the next night. It's been that kind of thing. Annoying. Okay, so that'll help keep that down under control. And then we'll tear this to fit on the front of this. And I mostly want the flower. I'm not super concerned with the um, dragonfly, even though that's kind of sad. <laughs> I mean, I like the dragonfly. I, it's just not all going to fit on there, and I want the flower more, so... I love these papers, Denise. Ah. Why I can't do that sometimes. It's like the smaller section. I try to rip the worst. It. I should hold it the whole way down, and I don't have enough fingers or something to do that. Okay, and we're gonna rip right about here. I'll try to get a little bit of him. I might take off more of the... Yeah, I think I'll do that because I want this word hydrangea here too. Tear over here a little bit more. Try to get some my stripes. Funny joke, right? Tiny bit off the bottom there. And I still mess it up. Okay, so if we're gonna get the dragonfly, then we gotta take off some of this. And I don't think I'm gonna open that other side to make a pocket. I think I'm gonna leave it closed. Because it's kind of a thin bag, so I don't want it to get too crazy with the... i got to fix this first. Sorry. Well, it's not as bad as I thought it was, but it's a little wonky. Off. I really messed up on that up and down, didn't I? So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Sorry, I know I, um, I've i already done a video today, so I said all that, but this is the next day for you guys, so... <clears throat> all mixed up. And like I said, there will be another image on here. I think I have one printed. It's from those um, Memories of a Lifetime books <coughs> that I wish you could still get. I mean, you can get them, you can find them sometimes on Amazon, but they don't have all of them, so it's hard for me to like show you guys something and then I don't know if you'll be able to get it or not, so it's kind of a bummer enough. Trying to find like a good border piece. This is Medieval Mirage, but um, it'll work up here. It's 
So yeah, I hope you're having an awesome day. <clears throat> quiet around here, which is nice. I am not complaining. Um, I don't know if I like that. I think it's too light. I think I want something darker. Darker and like thinner, smaller. Sorry, I know this is really boring. You can fast forward if you want. <laughs> and I'm not even talking a whole lot, so. See, I want something like that, but I don't think that's long enough, is it? Oh, it is. That's too dark by the time you do that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have any more of that one page of Denise's that has the awesome border on it, I don't think. Oh, maybe I do. A little bit of that would work. That will work. I thought I used it all up. take off just a tiny bit more of this down here. Because that will allow me to put more of that up there and be able to see it. So I'm going to tear off, let me see, which of this? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because then I don't end up with the white box parts and I can use those for another something. better. And then this will not cover it all up either. You can put it over now because then you can still see the hydrangea, the top of it. Sorry, that was, <laughs> you're probably like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> that was a wow moment, right? That's what happens when I work all day. <laughs> Start to get loopy. Loopy loopy. Did that yesterday too. So funny how you think, oh, I just have a few more things to do on that journal. <laughs> it's kind of a funny joke. My husband's always like, uh huh, a few more things. You mean like eight hours worth? <laughs> it's like, yeah, basically. smart we would try to find a way to make them simpler but I guess that's no fun huh at least I don't think it is I like to do lots of, oh I forgot I ripped that I love doing all this stuff it's just amazing how many hours get sucked away doing it Kind of amazing. I did that really quicker, didn't I? That was bad. Oh, come on. Trying to get it. I'm losing all my stick. There we go. Oh, 
will be pretty with the image that I'm thinking on the front. And then I thought we could do a pocket or something in here. Uh, I think we'll put a background on first, and then I have some of Denise's pockets. I have this piece that would be kind of good. I think that one fits there, because you could still write here. And then... Kind of weird with the rear end of the um, dragonfly. <laughs> hmm. See, so I want to use that butterfly. stuff here. Pretty much anything I put there is going to get covered, so I think I will go with this green. Or would it be better on this? Maybe this one's better. going to be a comedy show today, I bet you didn't know. These look really good with the paper sack, too, so that's kind of cool. Okay, let's... Try to get it straight as I can here. Much better when you actually hold the ruler down. Still made it too wide. I'm gonna make all those people who measure crazy right now. <laughs> Sorry. Not a good one for that. Of things at the moment, probably. Just rip that too. So, this might be a little like watching paint melt, but I like to do some kind of or paint melt. Paint melts, wow, did you know that? Ah, ice melt, but um, paint dries. <laughs> but I just like to do something, you know, when I um, I'm done doing a flip through so that it's not just a flip through and I also wanted to work on this so but I guess you guys can always turn it off or whatever you need to do or just continue on with me my good friends oh wow I have, oh you know what the library taped it so that it would stay it stayed. This book was that one I took apart. It's just disintegrating. It's just crazy. Library books, and this is where I got a lot of these old ones that I have, because um, they were just going to throw them away. So um, I bought them for a dollar each, and uh, they just get abused thoroughly. Even when they're not very old, they're still abused. I mean, it, it makes sense. It's just crazy, the condition they're in sometimes. I'm going to use this here, even though it's totally different, but by the time you get the other paper in there, I don't think it will make a difference. Not a big deal. Is this? No, it's a lot longer. Well, not a lot longer. A little longer. I guess it's not that noticeable. So 
yeah, I wish I had some stories to tell you guys. Let me know what you're um, making lately. It's always interesting to hear. i got to figure out what to have for dinner. That's always the age-old topic, right? My family is not great help either. They're always, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, okay. funny today I kept getting um, like weird alarm things on my phone for fire alarms and stuff at where I used to work it, they do you know every month we have to do a fire alarm and so we used to get those so we knew but it's like I can't believe they haven't taken me off of that yet <laughs> all that stuff I guess maybe I have to go and get that all taken off. So my email too. I'm like, I don't really need to know what's going on there if I'm not there. But I mean, it's not a big deal to me. I just would think it would be kind of a, like a confidentiality sort of issue. I'm going to glue these flaps in here down to this back side. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this flap, I'm going to glue it down onto there so that when I slip a card in and out of there, it's not getting caught up on there all the time. But if you wanted to do like two cards, you can also put dividers in between these. I've done that before making mini albums. But uh, that's, it just depends on how much stuff you want to put in it. I don't need to put tons of stuff in it. I just want kind of a fun little, maybe a purse sort of journal thing for her. And then once the signature's stitched in there, it's not going to go any further than that. My family and I are trying, oh, I think I mentioned this in the last video, trying to decide where to go on a vacation for kind of a, a gift for my daughter after graduating. Because <clears throat> we don't travel a whole lot at all, so we just thought it would be fun to, you know, go on a nice trip or something. But with the whole coronavirus deal, I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'm not making a huge deal out of it because I just don't want to go somewhere and end up sick or stuck, you know, whatever. just doesn't sound fun. Those, all those people that got stuck on that cruise ship, that would be me. That would so be my luck. <laughs> uh. Definitely my luck. All right, so let's figure out what to put on the back. Maybe we can put, ooh yeah, let's do that. Let's put this butterfly on the back. I think I have one that I tore already from the last project. And it won't totally fit, but I think it'll be all right. These colors just kind of make me think of my friend that gave me that. She's I don't do a whole lot with blues, but um that's definitely her kind of a color. I think I'm the only one in the world that's I like to wear blue, but I don't really like anything else in blue. I don't know why. I don't know what that's about. But um love the blue sky, I'll tell you that. It's just not my my favorite color. That was a really bad job on that side, but I think it's okay, since it's all roughly over here. <laughs> yeah, my niece's wedding and everything is going to be in blue. I don't know why that's not my, my favorite, but it's not. 
I mean, it's not like I hate it. I just, I just don't tend to gravitate towards it, I guess. I'm just taking that off because I think I want some of that. that eucalyptus is going to have to go too. So this is kind of a fun little, you know, quick, quick thing you can do. This is bugging me. <laughs> do it right the first time. I think it's something about tearing so close to my fingers and I'm trying to hold that down. I don't know. Anyway. Silliness. I kind of need something up at the top now. Oh, my kiddos are home. We'll put this piece on and then I'll probably let you go. Can't believe it's already four. That's crazy. That day went zooming by. Zooming, zooming. I gotta get some papers together to put inside of this because I'm not sure exactly um, what I want yet. I'm doing a video. What? I'm doing a video. Sometimes they're loud when they come in. I guess I don't need another piece on there, huh? Works. Yeah, that's going to be nice. All right, so I will get the rest of the stuff together, and I may come and, you know, I'll come back in just a minute, and um, we'll do a little bit more, and then I'll be done. I'll be right back. Hi, everybody. I'm back. It's the next day, but I'm back. <laughs> that's the problem. My kids come home, and then I'm just a little bit. Um, I've got, you know, talking to them and, you know, whatever. Anyways. Um, so we were working on this. I did manage to um, get some pages together and a lot of these are single pages that I have left from different um, dies. So like this one is one that my niece did for me at Christmas time that I used in uh, my winter wonder journal that I made. And this is the last piece of it. It's cool because you can see the rest in there. And then I have some coffee dye. Um, this was from Cindy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And um, this is some of my, I think this one might have been irises and a little bit of food dye that I was just trying something. Might never come out very exciting. So, And then this is a uh, kitty paper that's coffee dyed and um, avocado dye from Denise. And this is Kool-Aid dye that Denise did last year at spring. She had like a whole spring kit that I bought from her. And then uh, this is tea dye. And this is, I think this is the more um, of the like iris and blue food color that I did. And this is coffee dye and avocado dye. So just all different, you know, papers, but they go with this whole thing. So I thought those kind of were fun. And I did cut a journal, a journaling card from some scrap that I had so that's going to go right in there but let's work on the cover first and then uh, maybe we'll sew on the signatures and I'll let you guys go because I know this you know it's going to end up being a really long video but anyway um so we did this yesterday I have this little angel or fairy that is from my um memories of a lifetime book and this isn't the one that that particular one came out of but I'll try to put them in the description box below if Amazon has them. The, the one that this came out of is Angels and Fairies and the um, titles of them are there obviously they're a book but I'm just saying that there's all different ones but you can't get a lot of them anymore and um, because of copyright we can't like make the image digital. So it's kind of crazy because there's all these awesome images that um, 
you can't buy <laughs> unless you happen to find those books at like a yard sale or something. Um, but we can't, you know, turn them into digitals either. So it's kind of kind of stinky because, I mean, I know a lot of these images are out on the public domain. It's just finding them is the thing. So anyhow, that's that. And then I think I'm going to put this kind of down here. It would be good like with some fabric or something. I just kind of want to be able to see some of the hydrangea and the dragonfly, and I thought about putting this up here higher, but then all you see is the stem. So I think I'm going to come down here with this, and then we'll put something else like right here or something. So, sorry, I'm talking a mile a minute. I actually slept last night. I um, finally just took half of a sleeping tablet <laughs> so that I could sleep. It's just been ridiculous. I hate it when I get in those jags. I do that every once in a while. Um, where I'm just an insomniac, and it drives me batty. So, I am feeling better, but now I'm talking a mile a minute. Plus, it's early in the morning. I tend to obviously have more zip in the morning. Alright, so I think I want to just kind of put this over here. And this is just an old hanky, and I think this is probably, if not the last piece, close to the last piece of it that I have. I loved that one, because it had the teeny tiny flowers, and it had this really awesome lace on it that I've used all up. But every once in a while you find a really good, like, favorite one, you know. And you hate using it, but at the same time you love using it, because it, it, it just looks so cool. So, anyhow there and that there. I just wanted it more frayed, I guess. Something like that, but I think I want to stitch it because to me it never looks done unless it's stitched. That's a problem when you start stitching. It's almost like don't start because then you feel like everything has to be stitched. <laughs> I mean, like it looks good. It's just, um, you know, sometimes you just don't really want to stitch it. Um, these are in Denise's kit as well. Um, Spring Bloom's Friendship. She has all the, like, words for friendship and all that. So I'm just going to quickly kind of, I'm not going to do this perfectly with the lines that are there because that would probably take me all day. So I'm just kind of making my own jiggity, jaggedy lines. And, whoops. Hold it right so that I can actually cut it right. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I know I've already said that, but to me this is a new day, so sorry about that. Regardless, hope you're having a good day. So then this can go like there. I think. What else do we need? I just feel like this needs to get stitched. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I just stitched along there real quick. Sorry about the on and off and on and off thing here. Um, I feel like the friendship needs a little something too, though. I'm wondering what it would look like if we put like a, a label or something. I know that there's already kind of a label down there at the bottom. But it just kind of needs something. Sorry, I'm just looking through this envelope of uh, labels and junk I have. Maybe it just needs like let me see. piece of paper. This is just some of that paper um, that I stamped with that thing that we had at the school. I don't remember what they're called, so those book binder things. Oh my goodness, Amy. I want it ripped, just rip. It just wants to rip off one little piece at a time. Okay, let's ink that a little. And then maybe I'll put a number or something on it. 
I think it's because it's construction paper. It's kind of ripped weird. see me do this a million times so it's not like it's news unless you're new and if you're new welcome to my channel I so appreciate all of you it's just amazing to me how wonderful you guys are okay I think it needs to be crumpled <laughs> Uh, yeah, something kind of like that. That's what I think. I don't know, you might not think the same. <laughs> you may be going, what are you doing? I'm actually going to put some... Um, of this as well art glitter glue just to make sure that this fabric stays down I'm just gonna slip a little underneath too I don't know if you can see I'm just gluing just putting glue on junk oh yeah you can see I forgot to look at my camera to see where I was at and I'm gonna actually run some of this under here in hopes that that fabric will stick down a little more and I'm going to crinkle it a little I don't know why I like to smush everything up but <laughs> just kind of my thing I may ink it just a tiny bit okay So there's that. This needs a little more glue under here. It's wanting to poke up and I don't want it getting caught on things. Because I thought this would be kind of a good one to like stick in a purse or something of that nature maybe. I mean, she can do whatever she wants with it obviously, but <laughs> that was just my thought on it. Since it's a little thinner and smaller. Alright, so I'm going to put the lids and the things on those. I think we'll sew in the signatures and then I'll let you guys go and I'll come back and we'll do the um, journaling card and some decoration to it. So I'm going to use my um, book binder dealy mabob that my husband printed for me. It's a book cradle is what it's called. So with a book like this, because it's not loads of pages um, and you're not doing multiple signatures and things like that, if I could find the middle, it would help. Um, you can just poke directly through. Okay, what is the deal, y'all? Um, you can just poke right through all the pieces, you know, because you don't have like a hard back or anything like that. So um, I am going to grab a clip because knowing me, I'll mess it all up because I do that really well. Uh, 
Uh, goodness, my hands, I'm telling you. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I think I'm just going to do one side, and I think it'll be fine because it's going to sit right in here anyhow. And I have my... So this is the advantage of the book cradle. And I'm just going to eyeball this one because it's... Um, i got to scoot it up just a little. Again, it's not like a big book with loads of signatures or anything, so I'm not that worried about the exact placement of everything. I'll clip it here instead. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball the middle, and hopefully I won't get my big head in here. Let's go up just a little, I think. I think that's close. And straight down. And that pokes straight in that little um, like divot that's in there. And then I hold my pages down because I don't want to lift up and have them move up or something. I know I've got my clip, but I just like to do it that way. And you can hear it hit the bottom. And then you can see that I got dead on center on those. And that's what I like about it because I really don't like it when they're off. And I've said it said that before, so I won't belabor that. But and then I did three lengths of my um, journal. And this is just, um, what do you call it, embroidery floss. So... And then I'm going to try to see where my center is because <laughs> with all the little divots from the last time it was sewn, and this one I am going to keep those on the inside, the strings on the inside. So I'm going to do this, hold on, and this is a three-hole pamphlet stitch. And I do it different than Gail does it, so um, it's kind of just how you learned it. This is how I learned it. So, But everybody kind of has their own style. Back up through the top. And then you go all the way down to the bottom hole, back out, and then we're going to come back in that middle hole again and try not to like stick it through the other thread. Okay, so that's that. I can take my uh, strings, make sure that you have one string on this side of the middle and one string on this side of the middle, okay? Just to get it nice and snug. And I check, you know, to make sure that it's good and snug on the outside too, so you can kind of hear it's almost like a guitar string or something. usually do another one just for good measure. Okay. So that's that. And I'm not going to do big long strings. I didn't take that off. And now that is all sewn in. So there we are. We've got that much done. And then we'll come back and do the card and maybe do some decorating. But um, I think that's just a fun little thank you gift. So uh, we'll chat soon. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye-bye now.